Welcome back to another patch video for Helldivers 2. For today's video, we're taking a deep dive into this patch, going over the brand new bug fixes, nerfs, buffs, and all together gameplay changes. So the first nerf gun is they nerfed the Scorcher, but this is what the patch note says. We've updated the stat UI for the weapons to take into account any explosive damage done by them. This is to give the weapons that do damage of explosive projectile a more fair representation in the UI. Most notably affected is the PLAS-1 Scorcher. So they nerfed the Scorcher. It looks like they nerfed explosive damage on it. It looks like they nerfed the stunning damage on it. Reduced all that. They changed the stats on it. So now we have the fixes. It says crashed fixes. Fix some crashes that occurred when deploying to a mission. Fix some crashes that occurred during extraction right after it. Fix some crashes that could occur if squad deployed a large amount of support weapons. Fixed various of crashes that would occur during gameplay. Fixed crashes that could occur when using heat weapons. Fixed crashes which could occur if a player died while using the jetpack. Fixed crashes which could occur when a large volume of enemies were present. Fixed crashes which occurred when a player picked up a snowball. And fixed crashes which would occur when completing an objective. So they fixed a lot of bugs, but there's still a lot more they gotta fix though. Alright, let's move on to our other fixes, shall we? Other fixes. Fixed hang that could occur while navigating the social menu. Fixed picking up medals and super credits will no longer lock the player in place. Good to know. Next up, we have known issues. These are issues that were either introduced by this patch or are being worked on or are from a previous version have not yet been fixed. It says we continue to identify issues and create fixes. These are organized by feedback reports. It says variance issues involving friend invites and crossplay. Players cannot navigate to the search results from the search bar and the social menu. Players may, may name show up blank and other players friends list. So we also have some more bugs as well. It says damage over time effects may only apply when dealt by the host. Players may experience delays in medals and super credit payouts. Enemies that bleed out do not progress personal orders, eradication missions. Certain weapons like the sickle cannot shoot through foliage. Scopes on some weapons such as the anti-material rifle are slightly misaligned. Arc weapons sometimes behave weirdly. Spear targeting inconsistently. Stratagem beams may attach itself to enemy but de will deploy in its original location. Explosions do not break your limbs. Areas around Tomton detectors make blue stratagems such as the hell bomb bounce off and be repelled. Planet Liber Liberation reaches 100% at the end of every defend mission. That's insane. So these are a lot of bugs that are still here. They fixed about 10 of them in this patch. There's still another 100 more bugs that need to be fixed in this game. Um, Honestly, that personal order one, I would say it's high priority because right now, that's been a major bug. Like, I'll get on the game and play the game for a couple hours, and I'll sit here and play it for four hours. Just trying to get one personal order done because most of the time, it doesn't even count half the matches. Because like the patch thing said, if the enemies bleed or are bleeding and don't die straight away, it doesn't count. It glitches and bugs out. Um, and certain missions don't count towards the liberation bar either, which is a major, major bugs. Um, I will have the patch notes linked in the description of this video. If you guys definitely did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. I will have a video up tomorrow about tomorrow's new, brand new Warbond Pass. Stay tuned for that. Empire Play signing out, y'all. And peace.